So, a special delivery today. What have we got in the box? Is it the new K3 Mark III? Well, judging by the box, I don't think so. But what it is, is hopefully what it is, is the K3 Mark II. So it's the previous gen Pentax camera. Get rid of all this stuff. It's well packaged. Yeah, so I've went ahead and got another eBay deal. And it's a second hand, obviously, K3 Mark II. And people might, might be asking why have I got this when I've already got a K5, a K70, and a K3 Mark I. Well, the reason that I've picked this one up is because when I bought the, the K3 Mark I, I found that to be a better suited to the style of photography that I do. Obviously, you've seen I do the action, sports, motocross, and dog photography on my YouTube channel. And that's not to say that the K70 is any not any good for that. It is. It's, it, it can, I can get really good shots with the K70 for that type of stuff. But I just felt that the extra, there was a few extra or more suited features, I would say, on the K3 for that type of photography over the K70. And image quality wouldn't be one of them because the K70 actually has a newer sensor and produces better images, lower noise images, in my opinion. Or so I found anywhere. So the K3 Mark I led me to, for one, it had the, the frame rate. It had 8.3 frames per second or 8 frames per second over the K70, which I think is 6. Um, how it felt in hand was really nice. The weather sailing, I think because it's a premium solid construction, I don't know, the, the body just felt a lot more robust, better. I'll just say this, um, this is packed really well from the guy who I bought it from. He may be, he may, I may already know him. I'm not going to mention his name on here. Um, but I got a, a good deal on this. The camera was advertised with only having 5,690 something um, shutter count on it. So that's uh, really good. And I got it for a good price because eBay actually had uh, an offer on where they were, they were matching or giving you a certain amount of money off. So I ended up getting £45 off through eBay on this. So we've got a charger there. But yeah, back to why I chose this through the, the Mark I, which I'm also going to be keeping, and I'm going to be testing this camera against the K70. But I've pretty much made my mind up without testing. I've got two aftermarket batteries for this is good. That was one of the reasons that the K3 is better, in my opinion, for the type of stuff I do, is it's got longer battery life. Um, you, you end up taking quite a lot of shots at a sporting event, motocross. We've got the, is that charging cable? Yep. And that's everything that's in the box there. Oh, what's this? It's the little lens cap. The uh, eyepiece. Not lens cap, the, the viewing eyepiece. The viewfinder. Come on now. You're a DSLR shooter, you should know what a viewfinder is. Jesus Christ. So yes, K3 Mark II. I really like uh, the Pentax cameras, how they feel in hand. All of them that I've had, the K5, the K70, the K3, and I'm sure this is going to be no different, the K3 Mark II. It's in really good condition, this. I like it when people look after the gear. 
because I do too. It's just the lens cover dropped off. But yeah, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna have a look over this camera. I always um, clean the gear before I use it, so I'll be bringing down me me blow kit and uh, have a look at the sensor and make sure everything's in order or cleaned up nicely. But yes, the K3 Mark II for sports photography, this is what I'll be using it for. I want the extra frames per second. I don't really use a buffer, but it has got a better buffer. The extra battery life is really good. The way it feels in hand, this doesn't have the flash, it's just a GPS unit, so this doesn't lift up. I don't know if they've got better weather sailing in here over the ones with the flash, like the Mark I. Yes, the, the sensor is not as new as the K70 in this camera, but, you know, I've, not, I've never had a problem even with the K3, even with the K5, to be honest. The, the images are, are stellar. Yes, the K70 is newer, and it, it does produce better images, in my opinion. But, I think this is just a better suited camera for what I want to do. So what I will be doing is I'll be putting the K70 up for sale. And this is actually, I'm not sure if I've said this before, but the, um, this is the second K70 that I've had. The first K70 I had, I, um, I sold that on and I actually bought another one not long after I'd sold that because I regretted it at the time. And this is not gonna be a third time lucky. This is, <laughs> this time the K70 is gone and it's gone for good. But um, yeah. Uh, I sold the K70, the first one I had, and I regretted the decision, so I bought another one with a really low shutter count. I think that only had 900 shutter actuations on it. Might have been a little bit more, maybe it's 1,100. I'll have to check how much it's got on now, but I've not used it much. I think I've had that camera about two years now. And yeah, it's time for the K70 to move on. and get a camera that I feel is better for the purpose that I'm using it for. Although I, I'm probably going to be like, I'll get into another situation where <laughs> there's no flip out screen, which I absolutely love on the K70. But there you go. I've got a Pentax K2, uh, K2, K3 Mark II to go along with the K3. And the K5, which I'm keeping to convert my DA star lenses over from the SDM motor but that's another video so yeah unboxing can't wait to uh, test this bad boy out and um, yeah that's it for me like share subscribe another Penax video I'm out <laughs>